So we're on our way to the Catskills. We're going to Devil's Path Trailhead. We're aiming to get there around 8 a.m. And hopefully the lot won't be too full because it's still early and it's pretty cold out. Like right now it's 39 degrees. Um, so for Devil's Path, we're only doing like a short segment of it. Here's the parking lot. Actually, probably at least 15 cars already, but I feel like it could fit probably another a good no, decent amount. It's a one-way parking lot. So the trail is pretty leafy. Also super cold, so wearing some gloves. <laughs> I didn't think I would need gloves. First trail junction we're at. Trail. Uh, we're going not to the right away to Indian Head. We're gonna go first blue to, yep, the Jimmy Dolan Notch, Twin Mountain, and Indian Head that way. So first 1.6 miles that way. So I think we're starting to incline now, but the trail so far has been pretty flat, also pretty well maintained, yep. like rocky, like even though it's leafy too, you can still see where the trail is. All the trees are kind of dead. Yes, like Cindy said. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so we've reached another junction point. Huh, it says the Platte Clove Road. It's two and a half miles. Um, it took us like about 2.1 miles so far to get up here. Let's see. So now we're going to follow the right sign. Um. Huh, I'm guessing this trail might go to Jimmy's Overlook. Yeah, so it looks like there's a pretty clear path. No trail markers though. So while the trees are dead up here, it's got a pretty nice view actually. All the colors. All the colors. Okay, so now we're going to Twin Mountain South Summit. I think we might just decide to do the Twin Mountain South, which is closer um, than the actual Twin Mountain. Um, just because we read reviews that Twin Mountain and Twin Mountain South don't have that much of a difference in Overlook. So, I don't know what it is. I don't think it's a butterfly, is it? No, no. Well, this trail is very well marked. As you can see, there are four red markers here showing this path. So we know where to go. So we're on the Twin Mountain, the South Summit. Oh, we're at 2.5 miles now, and it took us two hours. It's like 10 o'clock. Yep. It's not as windy as other places we've been there, so. <laughs> okay, so we're back at the intersection again at 2.8 miles. So to the twin south summit, it's 0.3 miles from that intersection. And now we're about to go, look at the sign. We're going to Indian Head. That'll take us 0.5 miles to get up there. So. Supposedly, so we'll see. And then we're gonna come back to this intersection again. <laughs> oh yeah, so these honey stingers, honey muffin stingers, go to snack on hikes. Mm -hmm. So this is the Indian head overlook. 
The views are good. Not as good as the other ones though, right? No, not as good. But we heard if we keep going, there's even a better view. But we're gonna head back here. <laughs> So we finished the trail now, and it is what time is it? Twelve fifty-seven. Twelve fifty-seven. So six miles in like four hours and forty-two minutes, and like twenty-two hundred feet. We're back, and the parking lot's pretty full now too. Sarah wanted to do a post-hike vlog. Yeah, so we're viewing that hike. It's a pretty decent hike. Not too hard. Um, Old trails was a lie. I mean, I guess it could be hard in some spots because you're kind of like climbing. You're not really climbing, but you're like rock scrambling a little bit. And then I think the best view was the Twin Mountain Zone. And I really enjoyed the Jimmy Notch overlook too. Indian Head was, eh, you could pass on Indian Head. Unless you were doing that complete loop, I guess there were other views apparently that were good for the whole hiker. Yeah, and it's a good thing, better go early uh, for parking because when we've left, it's pretty crazy. Oh yeah, parking lot was filled and then there were like other hikes past that that had like uh, parking as well and those were all filled. Yeah, one was called Long Path and we have to look up what that other trail before Long Path was. Yep, okay. 